What's up, you freaking genius heads? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve a square root equation with extraneous solutions, right? So here we have 13 plus the square root of 5n is equal to three. So the first thing we're gonna do here is get rid of this 13 by subtracting 13 on both sides. Those cancel out. So we're just left with this square root of 5n is equal to, there we go, 13 minus, uh, sorry, three minus 13, which is equal to negative 10. All right, now in order to get rid of a square root, all you have to do is square it. So we're gonna square this side and we're gonna square this side, right? So then on this side, the square root and the squared exponent cancel out. So then you're just left with 5n is equal to, negative 10 squared is equal to positive 100. All right, so then to get rid of uh, this five, we'll divide both sides by five. So those cancel out, so we're left with n is equal to 100 divided by five, which is 20. Okay, so our answer is n is equal to 20. Now it's really important to always check your solutions because sometimes your solution doesn't actually work in the equation, right? So here we're gonna plug in 20 for n and let's see if it works. And hint, it's not going to. So we're gonna have 13 plus the square root of five times 20, there we go, is equal to three. So then this is uh, 13 plus, so five times 20 is equal to 100. So the square root of 100, 100 is equal to three. So then we get 13 plus the square root of 100 is equal to 10, and that's equal to three. Now 13 plus 10 is actually equal to 23, not three, right? So that means our solution over here, uh, n is equal to 20, doesn't work, right? And when one of your solutions don't work, that's called an extraneous solution. So it's basically just a solution that doesn't work. So that means this equation over here, the original equation, has no solutions. All right, let's try one more. So here we have r plus 4 is equal to the square root of negative 4r minus 19. Okay, so again, to get rid of a square root, all you have to do is square it, right? And whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. So square this whole side also. All right, so then on this side, the square root and the exponent cancel out. So we're just left with negative 4r minus 19. And then that's equal to this side over here, r plus 4 squared, right? Well, let's multiply this out. Let's square it. So we're going to have r plus 4 times r plus 4. Okay, so now to simplify this, we need to foil. So remember, that sounds for first, outer, inner, last, right? So first we have r times r, which is r squared, then we're gonna go outer, so r times positive four is positive four r, then we're gonna go inner, so four times r is equal to, again, positive four r, and then we're gonna go last, right, so four times four is equal to 16, positive 16, all right, and then that's, uh, well, we can simplify this, right, combine like terms, so four r plus four r is equal to eight r, so we can write this as r squared plus eight r plus 16, and again, that's equal to this side over here, negative 4r minus 19. All right, now we can combine like terms, right? And we wanna put all our terms on one side because as you can see, we have a quadratic, right? So we're gonna to have to factor it. So over here, uh, we have negative 4r, so let's add 4r to both sides. So then we'll add it right there. And then here we have a negative 19, so we'll add 19, and then we'll add 19 here. Okay, so then on this side, these both cancel out, so we're just left with zero on this side. And then over here, simplifying this, we're gonna be left with r squared plus 12r plus 35. Okay, and again, this is equal to, there's nothing there, so just zero. All right, so now we're just left with this quadratic, so that means we have to factor it, okay? So uh, this r squared, we can uh, split up into r times r, right? And then to figure out what numbers go over here, just look at your last number right here. So we have a positive 35. So we need two numbers that multiply to 35 but have a difference of this middle number over here, positive 12. Okay, so in this case, that would be a positive five and a positive seven, right? Because five times seven is equal to 35. And positive five plus seven is equal to positive 12. All right, so we need a positive five and a positive seven. And again, that's equal to zero, okay? So now that this is factored, all you need to do is set each of your uh, factors equal to zero, right? So we have two factors or two sets of parentheses that we're gonna set equal to zero. So first we have this r plus five, 
is equal to zero, and this other one, r plus seven, r plus seven is also equal to zero. Okay, so for this first equation, we're gonna get r is equal to negative five, and then for this uh, second one, we have r is equal to negative seven, right? So those are our two answers for this equation. So r is equal to negative five and r is equal to negative seven, okay? But the last thing we have to do is check our answers. Okay, so first let's check r is equal to negative five. So let's plug in a negative five into our equation up here. And just uh, so we have it, the original equation was r plus four is equal to the square root of negative four r minus 19, right? So let's plug in a negative five for r. So we're gonna get negative five plus four is equal to the square root of negative four times negative five minus 19. So then negative four, uh, sorry, negative five plus four is equal to negative one, right? So we get negative one is equal to the square root of uh, negative four times negative five is equal to positive 20 and minus 19, right? So then we get negative one is equal to, let's see, 20 minus 19 is equal to one. So we get the square root of one, okay? Is this a true statement? No, it's not, right? Because the square root of one is equal to positive one, not negative one, right? So that means r is equal to negative five is an extraneous solution, right? Because it doesn't actually work in our equation. Okay, so then this one is an extraneous solution. Okay, and now let's check negative seven over here. So we're gonna plug in negative seven to the equation, so we're gonna get negative seven plus four is equal to the square root of negative four times negative seven minus 19. There we go. Negative seven plus four is equal to negative three, right? So we get negative three is equal to the square root of, let's see, negative four times negative seven is 28, positive 28, right? So minus 19. So then we get negative three is equal to the square root of 28 minus 19, which is nine, okay? This again is a false statement, right? Because the square root of nine is equal to positive three. So that means negative seven is also an extraneous solution, right? So neither one of our solutions worked for this equation. So that means this equation has no solution. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.